Chinese visitor to San Francisco may find a taste of home literally a few steps away. But even the most rabid sports fan might want to answer email or sip a latte. Will Beijing provide some of the creature comforts of home to her guests from afar? In this episode, your Olympic homesickness cure might begin at a cafe. And with its emphasis on American comfort food, this one could be called the homesickness hospital. Then a visit to Beijing's Athena restaurant and cuisine from the very first Olympic country, Greece. And this Brazilian chef's advice about Chinese cuisine may surprise you. Also, the solution for a homesick sweet tooth. Plus, if nothing does it for you like Western food, there are signs that you can get your fast food fix in Beijing. Finally, these Western exchange students share their insights into Chinese culture and tips for surviving your trip to the Olympics. All coming up on Beijing Are You Ready? Welcome to the Sculpting in Time Cafe. Another good name for it might be the Homesickness Hospital. Let me read you some of their prescriptions. Smoothies, mm. cherry coke with ice, ice cream sodas, popcorn, cheesecake, pizza, pepperoni pizza, club sandwich, and all kinds of coffee. Hi, what can I do for you? I would like some blueberry cheesecake, please. Okay. The multi-level cafe on Weigunzun Road is an airy, relaxed setting for sending email about the Olympics to loved ones back home. Hi, I'm Mary. Hi. Hi. <laughs> do, oh, you speak English? Sure. Hi, how are you? you? Hi, Almus. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Almus. Almus? Where yeah. are you from? I'm a Norwegian. Oh, from Norway? Yeah. I come in mainly for, uh, for, for the wireless internet okay. connection. Okay, okay, yeah. But, uh, and the beer. And the beer. But, uh, so you like the books and the wireless? The books and the wireless, yeah. And I mean, the atmosphere is, is very much like home also. But um, I, I can't say I'm, I'm homesick at all. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Well, a place like this helps. Yeah. But that's not the only cure for loneliness here. This homey setting is a popular spot to meet new friends, including many language partners hoping to swap English for Mandarin. Entrepreneurial-minded expats even leave business cards at the entrance, eager to prolong their stay abroad with a little extra cash from language lessons. Its proximity to several of Beijing's finest universities, including the famous Beijing University, makes for an internationally hip, young, and mostly studious clientele. Opened in 1997 by a pair of newlyweds, the Sculpting in Time Cafe proved to be such a hit that they opened five more throughout Beijing. China's taste for coffee isn't just the caffeine calling. The draw of coffee culture is a reflection of the growing leisure lifestyle that's popping up in urban Beijing. But the upcoming influx of caffeine-deprived Olympic visitors might also have something to do with it. Beijing's drink of choice is still tea. But at this cafe, the tea is likely to be iced and accompanied by a side of pizza. Okay, look what I found. It's a tray of America. This is ketchup. Come on, you know what it all is. Parmesan cheese from Kraft, Tabasco sauce. Here's the cream. And look, even granulated sugar. And salt and pepper shakers. I don't know if I've seen any salt and pepper shakers around here. Um, are you guys from America? Um, I am. I'm Mary. How are you? Hi, my name's Remy. Hey, Remy. How are you? Pretty Hi. Good. Where are you from? Hi, I'm Matt. I'm from Finland. Oh, from Finland. That's nice to, meet, nice to meet you, too. So how do two, uh, an American and a Finnish guy, end up in China? Oh, we're classmates. When you come here, what do you do that makes you feel like home? Drink iced tea. Mm -hmm. The Sculpting in Time Cafe's popularity doesn't mean that Beijing's joining the ranks as a cosmopolitan city. It's a sign that it's already there. But none of that matters to a lonely traveler who's just looking for a taste of home. Beijing has a variety of international cuisines, so curing homesickness here might just mean a short break from Chinese food. And what could be more appropriate at the Olympics than the cuisine of the country that started the games, Greece? Walk into Beijing's Athena restaurant and it's like being instantly transported to Greece. Every detail convinces the eyes, ears and nose. Greek music sets the mood. 
The mosaic bar is stocked with hard-to-find Greek liquor and wine. And the artwork evokes Greek history and culture. Even if you come here by yourself, you won't be alone. Statues of Greek gods and historical figures will keep you company, envying your every bite. And if the spices on display are actually used in the kitchen, the meal could be the real thing. In fact, nothing about this place reveals that it's actually in Beijing. The only giveaway you're not in Greece is that the waitstaff, wearing authentic Greek costumes, all look a little bit Chinese. Just don't ask them for chopsticks. You can't get them here. Athena is located in Beijing's embassy district, and it's the only Greek restaurant in the city. Chef Yang Xiaopeng may not be Greek, but he's trained by Greek chefs. And if you come here for the Olympics, Chef Yang has a few gold medal dishes to recommend. This是头盘然后第二道呢是希腊沙拉里边有西红柿、黄瓜、飞达鸡丝还有橄榄加一点香草加上橄榄油这是很开胃的一道菜第三道呢是一个主菜它是希腊的姆萨卡希腊的姆